How many 3x4 downspouts can you put on one 4-inch main line? If you live in a tropical storm region, like Florida, Louisiana, those areas that you see tropical storms, you definitely have to reduce the amount of downspouts that you put on one 4-inch line. Now, most of the country that doesn't see tropical storms, they can get away with adding an extra downspout on a 4-inch line. I'm going to go through an installation with you. I'm going to show you a 4-inch trunk line. And I have the guys hooking up a bunch of downspouts to it. And I would love for you guys to debate and tell me how many 3x4 downspouts you can put in your area on one 4-inch main line. Now we're going to see at the end here just what we ended up with for 3x4 downspouts on this one 4-inch trunk line that runs out to a pop of emitter. There are a couple additional things that no matter where you live, you have to consider. How long are these gutter runs? How much rooftop water are you going to be capturing? How much roof is this downspout responsible for? All these things change the outcome. The guys tied three downspouts into one four inch main. These are three by four downspouts. We have them on four inch pipe. For the tropical storm regions, put two three by four downspouts on one four inch line. Before the guys cover this, we'll show you all the connections really quick. We got that line wide. And the third downspout also wide right here. And we're gonna have a four inch main to the back. You could run three downspouts that are three by four on one four inch main. All right, the guys put stone underneath all the catch basins. There's a bed of stone under the catch basins and down the sides. That way the water that's left inside the catch basin after the rain and after we move all the bulk water, the little bit that's in the sediment trap, I'm gonna be able to leach that water away. The men drilled really small holes. When the water comes out the holes in the catch basin and you have a little bit of stone underneath the catch basin, you're gonna have more contact with the subsurface soil. If you don't put the stone under the catch basin, you just put the catch basin down on the clay, you're not gonna get the water out. There's no way it's gonna leach. It's gotta cover more area to leach. So you wanna have a bed of stone under, underneath your catch basin. Always put drain stone around your pop-up and don't use any tape on that not quite a 90 fitting. Just hook it up to the pipe, no tape. You want the water to leach out of that fitting. You want the water to leach out right at the hub there. Don't pack clay around the pipe, put stone around it. That way the water that's left in that pop-up emitter can leach away into the subsurface soil. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.